Fuck, fuck. That, that's how they going to treat you. Yeah, oh, Mickey Mouse head, clown ass. Do something. Do something. Go ahead. Take a picture. Go ahead. Take a picture. I want to be famous now. Yo, they just jump yeah. six nine, bro. Yo, homie, I'm a, yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm a fan, bro. No, I'm a fan. I'm just saying, bro. I'm a fan, bro. I know we have jumpy, I know, I know, I ain't jumpy, bro. I'm snapping. That's crazy. That's crazy. What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy who's billionaire. Welcome to Who's Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about Takashi Six Nine getting whooped on at LA Fitness. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, video surfaced of Takashi Six Nine getting punched on and stomped out at a LA Fitness bathroom. Now, LA Fitness is just one of them places where I didn't actually seen some some brawls and been a part of some. I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. At LA Fitness, LA Fitness, it kind of can go down to LA Fitness. So, you gotta be on your p's and q's up there. I don't know what it is about the energy at LA Fitness, but definitely definitely you know stuff can happen so um but definitely i mean it's just one of them situations where you know you got caught slipping got caught lacking you know i believe his security was there also as well so i don't know what happened in that situation where your security let you get stomped out and beat up in the bathroom like i don't understand what's going on with that now they saying that um they gonna reach back out to the feds in order to make sure that he's always under federal protection and federal watch because they feel like stuff like that shouldn't happen and um i guess i agree with that i mean you know if you snitch to the feds i guess the feds you know they should be responsible for you but this is one of them situations that show you like man you can't be protected 24 7 that's just not possible this is one of those types of situations that case is over and gone the feds ain't finna watch over you forever they not finna look out for you forever look look at alpo alpo put away some guys that got had 10 bodies on their belt and they didn't watch over him forever he still ended up getting killed the energy you put out is the energy that's gonna come back i don't know how many times i'll be saying this on all of my videos 6 9 just always put out a reckless, disrespectful type of energy. Always. It didn't even have nothing to do with the snitching. Like, that's old. Okay, you put some people behind bars. You was pretending to be something that you weren't. And you ended up not being able to stand on your consequences as a man and taking your time. So you told. Cool. But after that, once you got out of jail, you was just more blatantly disrespectful and negative and just always saying negative stuff, being negative towards people, disrespecting deceased people, disrespecting, you know, Nip Hustle and going to his Muriel and all type of just negative stuff, bro. Always saying negative stuff to random people and being negative in different situations and um the little dirk um guy the guy who's the twin the little dirk or impersonates little dirk you try to intimidate him and now you trying to act like you just some street guy and you know what i'm saying because you got with whack 100 and it's like bro it's i mean this was bound to come this was inevitable just the laws of averages it was no way you could keep talking like that and being like that and no type of energy come your way for no type of consequences or repercussions bro that was gonna happen you feel what i'm saying it was bound to happen it was inevitable the way 6ix9ine was moving it was inevitable for that to happen and the fact that they stomped them out and did them like that and recorded it i mean you you put out that type of energy for attention so that type of energy came back to you and still manifested in attention you know what i'm saying whether you wanted it that way or not you feel what i'm saying it came back to you so you got to be understanding of that and understanding of how you move and the type of energy you put out so maybe he'll move different maybe he won't you know what i mean but I, he should feel blessed that it was just that you feel what i'm saying he should feel blessed that that was just it like you just got beat up and uh, and humiliated like it could have been worse it could have been worse you know what i'm saying but i also want to speak on this man even though it wasn't you know black people that did it per se like I see a lot of black people excited about six nine getting beat up and 
you know, they celebrating it and all of that. Like, oh, you deserve that. You a snitch. You a rat. You deserve that, right? Okay, and I respect that. But where is that type of energy for George Zimmerman? Why don't we have that same type of energy for Zimmerman? Who killed a young teenage Trayvon Martin who was innocent and didn't do anything. Just was coming home from getting some candy and some Skittles from the grocery store. From the from the gas station. Literally didn't do anything. This man was found acquitted somehow, some way, literally. But we all know that he was innocent and didn't do anything. And I have not yet heard so much as a finger ever being laid on George Zimmerman. Ain't nobody recording no. And I'm not inciting this. I'm not saying, hey, go beat up George Zimmerman. Go do something to George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman, that's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is, it's hypocritical to be mad at a little kid. Well, you know, Takashi, he's a grown man now, but you mad at somebody who y'all knew he wasn't what he was saying that he was and y'all knew he was just blurting out all type of negative rhetoric but yet y'all got so much smoke and negativity for him because he told and y'all knew he wasn't that from the begin with but george zimmerman a cold-blooded killer who killed a 17 year old boy in cold blood and got let go under no type of federal supervision and ain't nobody recording no videos beating him up or doing nothing to him or doing nothing you know stomping him out i'm not seeing no videos like that so and i'm not saying i'm once again i'm not putting that out there but what i am saying is man have equal energy have equal energy you know have equal energy man this the guy who's being there big favor big abundance don't forget to like share subscribe like share subscribe this the guy who's being there big favor big abundance i'm gone